you're breaking collagen down so that you can regenerate the collagen and make the tendon more closely back to normal. And in my mind, we make it back to normal, if you will. Here's a, a real nice study by Withrow, Eric Withrow out of Denmark, published American Journal of Sports Medicine in 01. They had 138 asymptomatic individuals that they prospectively looked at flexibility, range of motion, things of that nature. And what they found was if you were tight in your quads and or hamstrings, you had a higher propensity for developing patellar tendon pain. So let's summarize some of the things and we'll talk about our specific rehab program and then go into the clinic. Next exercise will be a leg press. And what we're gonna do is emphasize again the eccentric. So we're gonna do a two leg out, one leg down. And we really want them to go at a slow pace. So the rate will go is very similar to front step down and a decline uh, step down. We want 10 seconds. So we want about an eight to 10 second contraction eccentric as well as about a seven second contraction concentric. So again, Mo, go ahead and press it out, two legs. Good. Come on down one. What we're looking for is make sure his knee is nice and straight so he's not kind of cheating or compensating with his hip musculature. So he's firing his hip abductors as well as his quads. And as he gets down to the lower angle, we've set the range so he goes down to about 90 degrees of flexion. Once he gets to the lower angle, he can bring his other leg in and do his concentric contraction.